So now you pretty much finished your barrels run. You are in the chest room, about to get your reward. Now this is where people get nervous and they really, they really want to know what they're about to get. Just make sure you have 12 kill count. And yeah, just make sure you have 12 kill count. Alright, so I'm going to get the reward. I'm just going to kill this blood blood first. And once he's dead, I'm going to head, head over to my sink, my spot where I stand. So let's go over there. First, I'm going to... I'm going to... Yeah. So, as you see, you can get people at the chest. Every time you open the chest and you haven't killed your barrels brother yet, he appears. Just like this. So right now I'm going to kill Varric. Being very careful. So I'm getting damaged a lot. So, this is where you can kill, like, Aram or Kayril, so you know what's coming and you're prepared for it. But, kill, you can kill them any, anywhere else in the tunnel also. So, I'm dying. But, yeah. So I'm going to go, once he's dead, die already. Okay, there. Now I'm going to go stand over here. Now I'm going to open, I'm going to see, look, I have nothing in my inventory. I'm going to turn on the mage window for good luck, and then I open the chest. Or church chest. Nothing appeared on the ground, no. I could get an item, this is a very common chance to get items. And, I uh, hope I did, and, no, I didn't. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it's like. Alright, when I arrive at my house, this is what I do. I run over to my altar room. I recharge my prayer. Now I get extra little prayer experience from these bones. This is optional. You don't have to. Now, wherever your cable teleport is, or cobble, whatever you want to, canvas, I'll just say, you run to it, and you click it, and you load in the bar, run over to the bank, quickly use, deposit your rewards. And find your food, wherever mine is. Oh, there it is. Wait, you full food. And you're ready for some more barrels. Then also rotate your slayer stuff. Well, the rewards you can get can range from chaos runes, death runes, blood runes, a thing called bolt racks, which is K rolls, crossbows. Bolt, bolt ammo and you can also get coins and those are the main rewards you get that's the most common thing you'll ever get you can also get things like half keys and you can also get dragon med medium helps those are both kinda rare I've gotten a few of them but yeah those aren't still very good what you're really looking for is the barrels armor all the barrels brothers have four pieces of armor they have the helmet, the weapon, that's which is always two-handed, the top and the bottom, so the torso and the legs. And they all range in prices from Aram's hood, which is like 30k or so, and to Guthan's spear, which is like 5 mil. So there's a wide range of prices. Normally if you're going to get an item drop, you'll get normally one item like this. But on very rare chances, you can get this thing called a double chest. That's when you get two barrels items, or just two items, that aren't like runes and bolt racks at the same time. Like this. The best double chest I've ever gotten, I got at my friend's house, so I did not get it on video, sadly. I got a Guthans helm, and a Guthans... No, wait, a Darox helm, and a Guthans spear. That was like 7 mil. It's the best double chest I've ever gotten. But sadly, I don't have it out in video. But I wish I did. So sorry. Believe it or not, though, the most popular barrels item I, I've ever got, the most, so the most popular items I'm getting from barrels, the most popular barrels item I get is the Guthing War Spear. I've gotten four of them, and that's the best I've done. Well, it's tied with a Dragon Medium Helm and Torex Helm. But it's still. That's a lot of money. There's things to remember about getting rewards. You're not 
always going to get a reward. Like some people, like I have a friend who follows the exact guy that I'm telling you right now, and he has a hundred and five dry streak. Like that, that was just crazy. But he didn't really believe he'd ever get an item, so you you have to believe in it. Even though the game probably won't change at all, you just have to believe that you're going to get an item, but you don't want to wish for it. It's really confusing, but I mean, I expect an item, but I don't want to get an item. Like I don't want to get another Guthrie War Spear. I want to get something random, like an Aram's Bottom. So you don't want to just hope for items, because the runes themselves give a lot of money back anyway. So, like, I get, I don't know, like, 50k a run. Now, I don't know if that's even right or not, I'm just completely guessing that I don't know where. But, yeah, the runes and the bolts, those give a lot of money back. Those often will help you pay for all the all the bills for just doing one barrels run. But, so, treat the items as bonuses. Not many know about this, but barrels isn't just for money. Like, I've gotten quite a few ranged levels and magic levels from doing barrels. Ma it gives pretty good magic experience if you're doing slayer dart. And it's just good for experience. Not really good for combat, but yeah, you sure get some combat experience along with HP experience. Also, if you kill blood velds, you get charms. And those charms can help a lot. So, you can get more charms for summoning by just killing blood velds. And you also can use those bones that I had told you to collect for a prayer experience. So it's a pretty wide experience giving thing. So right now I'm going to go sell my rewards you just got from Barrows. I'm going to sell these chaos runes, these blood runes, and these bolt racks. And I'm going to sell some death runes also. So I'm just going to run over to the Grand Exchange. So you should do this every after every like five runs. Because you'll get some money and, and it just feels good to get money. So one, it'll make you do some more barrows. So I'm gonna go to the Grand Exchange. I'm going to sell. So that's 73k. That's not a lot of money, but it's okay. I'm gonna sell these blood runes. Oops. I hit the wrong button. Oh. Well, those won't sell. That's another like 22k. See, this is another 70k. So, that plus that, that's about 180k. Wait, these two. So, that's about 200k. So, I just made 200k from doing barrows. So, that's pretty nice. That's how I sell my stuff. I also sell my items after every 10 things, also. Alright, so now you can either click to continue to go to the next video that's not on the Junction page, or you can either go to any of the reward videos, but I hope, but I wish you'd go back to the other videos also and finish the last video, or you can just go back to the main menu and rewatch some of the other videos.